to understand what the expected inflation rate is, we need to see how people make uh, forecasts about their price level, looking back at their uh, recent experience. How much they care about their recent experience with respect to inflation is given by this lambda. Before the 1960s, expectations about prices did not really matter. One year, the prices will increase, the next, they will decrease, and so on. So, before the 60s, seeing some years it was positive and some it was negative, the best forecast for inflation was actually that it was zero. People uh, couldn't really look back to the recent experience in order to forecast inflation. So this was useless and lambda was zero. The expected inflation being almost zero inflation rate could be written as this expression here, as a function of unemployment. This expression which says that whenever you increase the unemployment, you decrease inflation, and whenever you decrease the unemployment, you increase inflation, was named the Phillips Curve, which said there was a trade-off between unemployment and inflation. So you could only decrease the unemployment level by boosting the economy, which will produce an increase in the price level. But then Milton Friedman from the University of Chicago came in and said that land debt could not be zero. Think about this. After the 60s, inflation turned out to be always positive. Since it was always positive, you could look back at your previous experience to see, uh, to produce a forecast, uh, an expectation about inflation, which matter. Because in this case, your lambda is not equal to zero. To see why the Phillips work, sorry, uh, the Phillips curve did not work in the 70s, you need to see that the uh, increase in the price of oil was actually in the price of inputs that firms had to pay. And then they pass it along through increasing the markup to consumers. So consumers ended up uh, having to pay more because prices went up. That is, inflation. So, in the middle of a crisis with high unemployment, prices went up. This is actually a shift in the Phillips curve, which worsens the trade-off between unemployment and inflation. So Friedman took the idea to the extreme and set lambda to be 1, meaning you have perfectly adaptive expectations. People will always look back at their uh, recent past in order to forecast the, uh, the inflation in this period. With lambda equal to 1, we will actually have a new expectations augmented Phillips curve. Now, Friedman said that what happens with the Phillips curve is that, in the long run, it is just a vertical line. There is no possible trade-off between unemployment and inflation because, the, in the long run, monetary policy is neutral, meaning that you cannot affect the unemployment level of the, in the economy by, for example, expanding the, the money supply, because unemployment will always return to its natural level and you will be left with higher prices. And this rate of unemployment at which your long round Phillips curve is at is the Nairo. Some kind of structural long term level of unemployment. Since it is the level of unemployment rate at which inflation doesn't change, when we are at the Nairu, inflation at t is got to be the same as inflation at t minus 1. So at the Nairu, these uh, uh, expectations augmented Phillips curve will be equal to 0, and then solving for the unemployment level, the employment rate, which is in this case the Nairu, we get this expression. 
So since we are at an equilibrium in the labor market, meaning wage setting equals price setting, we know that this holds. And at this specific unemployment rate, which gives the non-acceleration of inflation when the natural unemployment rate is equal to the NIRU for some years, then there will be no change in the inflation rate. But remember, inflation is just the change in prices. So prices will still change. The NIRU is just the unemployment rate at which these increase in prices would not accelerate. So this is the most important dynamic equation, which tells you that whenever your current unemployment rate is lower than NIRU, then this is less than zero, so this is positive, so this is positive. So the inflation has actually been higher than what you expected last year. So inflation is actually accelerating. The other case in which your current unemployment rate is higher than the NIRU, then this is positive, this is negative, and inflation right now is lower than what you expected. So the inflation rate is slowing down. Remember, if you are right now at the Nairu, then inflation rate would not accelerate nor slow down, so this would be zero. Another important equation is the Aukens Law. So we define G as the real GDP growth rate if we have a currently a unemployment rate uh, one percent higher than the Nairu, this is positive and this is negative, which means that actually your real GDP is going down, probably by uh two percent or three percent. So remember when you are at the Nairu, inflation does not accelerate over time.